Hi, this is Brian Jones from eLearningArt.com. Today I'm quickly going to show you how to ed edit slide masters in PowerPoint. The uh, default layouts in PowerPoint are actually what I think give PowerPoint a bad name. So if I go uh, into layouts here, you can see some of these defaults that are built down there, and they're really based on bullet points um, and kind of a generic layout. So um, first thing I wanted to do was tell you um, what I first do when I um, am starting a new PowerPoint presentation if I wanted to go from scratch and not use some sort of template. Um, so let's get in there and actually edit the slide master. So what you're going to do is you need to go to view slide master and that'll pull it up. And actually the first thing that I like to do is I go down to the title only um, and I duplicate it. This is one of the default layouts. Uh, and what I'm going to do is I want to start with a blank slate here. So let's re rename this one. So rename layout. And since I'm doing this for e-learning, I call this maybe e-learning. You can name it whatever you want. Um, but really I'm trying to create a blank slide. So wipe those out. And then I still like to keep the title on here. And I like to move it off screen. So now I have a blank canvas here that I can be putting anything onto. But by keeping that uh, title there, let me close out of this. Now you have your new you have your new um, layout. So if I went to layout and there's e-learning, you can see. Oh, sorry, I should have done a new slide. But you'll see it pulled PowerPoint bullets are boring. It pulled my title up there. Um, when I'm in the outline view, it still pulls that forward. So especially for some of the e-learning authoring tools, that's a really nice thing because your navigation menu is often based on what the slide title is. So that's just a little time saver that'll that'll keep you an outline, uh, keep the outline format working, but pull the, the title off of what the presentation slide will look like and still give you that, that blank slide. Um, so you'll see if I went to insert a new slide and I said e-learning, there we go. And the slide title is up there. Um, now I want to show you a couple of other interesting things um, that, that I do uh, when I'm building an e-learning course. So here is um, a template that I would use possibly in an e-learning course that just has some really open layouts. Um, and what I've done is, um, you'll see, if you go to the layout, you can see all these different layouts. I like big open ones. Um, it's still uh, really for just displaying um, text and, uh, and images, but it gives you a nicer layout than some of the default um, PowerPoint ones, and here's some tabs and whatever. Um, you can draw those all yourself in PowerPoint, and I just want to show you. Let's actually go into um, the slide master view. And what I want to show you is um, all of those layouts are actually just, uh, I developed them with white boxes. And then I put these text or image placeholders using the insert placeholder feature there. But you'll see you now this is this box is just a white box that I formatted, and all these other views. And I like to name them well. Um, so there, these just have some perspective on them. They're just boxes with some perspective. Um, but everything that I do at this sub slide master, you see this main one. Then there are all these subs. I do the layouts at the sub. Now there are some things that um, are controlled at the, the master level. I actually dropped the, the texture and the background that gave it that blue look, or the, sorry, that red look. And you'll see I could have that same, um, I could flow through a new design, um, putting it at the master level. Anything done at this top level will flow through to everything beneath it. So let's look at uh, another presentation. So here is another presentation that has this uh, gray striped background. I could actually go to view, slide master, and if I go to this master level, you'll see that there are these two. Let me actually pull that up so you can see there's a texture and a color. And I could grab both, just select both the texture and the color. I could copy them and go to the other presentation. Here I am back on the master there. I could delete these. And then I could paste those other ones. And you see that dropped through. So now if I closed out and I went to my layouts, I actually pulled through everything. All my layouts were the same, um, but, uh, but the backgrounds changed. So that gives you a sense of what you could do at both the top and the bottom level. Now I'll show you one other thing that's interesting really quickly. You don't just have to be thinking about um, layouts um, and with text and, and images in there. I actually, you can also drop um, background images in there. So that's what I do, like hallways and office buildings. Um, this is part of the, the free rapid storyboard that, that I deliver. But you'll see here, if I go view the slide master, I've just dropped these different um, backgrounds in there. So hope you found that useful. Thanks so much.